Hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to see how you can send email using Salesforce flow and that too using an email template. So for this particular demo, I created a one email template and if you don't know how to create an email template, I will add one video that you can watch it out. Uh, how you can create some fancy email template and a normal email template as well. Now today's scenario is very simple. Whenever a contact gets created over an account, what we are going to do, we are simply going to send an email to the contact like okay, we are happy to onboard you. So first of all, let me show you the email template that I'm going to use in this particular tutorial. So I will simply type email on the app launcher and email template will appear over there. This is the email template that I created. So let me open it. And right now you can see this is the body of the email template. Now, a lot of folks have a doubt like Shubham, that's fine. We can create an email template, but how to create a dynamic subject for that particular email template. So that's how you can see in this particular subject, I used one of the merge field called recipient dot first name. So in the same way, you can add the record value uh, from the merge field and it will come as it is because I already tested. So that's what that's why I'm saying this. You need to use it like this. Now let's move to our Salesforce flow in order to uh, create a quick uh, Salesforce flow to send email. So let me just use this create button and click on flow. So here I'm going to create a record triggered flow and here you can see my UI looks a bit odd because a lot of things are getting hidden over there. I'm not sure because I'm in pre-release org so that might be the issue. I'm facing this problem but anyways our main focus is to learn this UI gets correct auto corrected in some days or whenever they add some patch over there. So we can ignore that. Our main purpose is learning and that's what we are doing here. So first of all, I need to type the contact object because contact object is the triggering object, which will create the condition to send email, right? I'm going to select here. A record is created and in the condition requirement. I'm going to add email is null and in the value I will type false although you are not able to see that part but you just need to type false and select false over there. I am going to add one more condition that is account id is null false. So these are the two conditions that I added like I am only going to send an email when these two conditions fulfilled as I already told you many times in my previous videos that whenever we need to send an email we need to use the action and related records so now here i'm going to use a send email action and in this i'm going to type let's say send email to contact and now here is the thing so in the previous video i showed you how you can use recipient cc bcc right or what sender type is what sender email address is now this time i told you i'm going to create a video where i'm going to use email template so I'm going to click on this uh, use email template and here it will ask you email template ID. Now here is a really good thing. You just, you don't need a get record element anymore in order to fetch the template ID. You just need to type the name. So let's say welcome email template. So if you remember, this is the name of the uh, our email template, right? So I just type over there and it will come automatically. So this part I really like. Now attachment, like obviously we are not adding any attachments in this demo because I want to keep it simple just to explain you how you can use email template. Now in the recipient ID, let's read out in the I button what it is. The ID of a lead contact or person account to send an email to. And if email template ID is included, then recipient ID is required. So right now you can see we used email template. That means recipient ID is required now here is one thing recipient id we need to add if the object is contact or like we are sending email to contact prime uh, person account or let's say lead because these are the three objects that refer to a person and we are sending email to a person right here i am going to type triggering contact dot id so I, whenever I provided the contact ID, you can see log email on send will 
appear automatically now related record id is so this is uh, similar like uh, if the recipient id is let's say lead contact or uh, uh, person account then in the related record id you need to add the secondary object like where you want to log the email so as we are not logging the email right now and if you are want to log the email on lead contact and person account level this is sufficient you just need to add the recipient id and set true in the log email on send so for now i'm not going to uh, add log email on send i'm simply going to save my flow because this is the only configuration that i need to add in order to send email using email template so let me just click on save send email to contact when or let's say send welcome email to contact right let me save my flow and let me activate this flow as well so now i'm going to create a contact so let's say ramesh tendulkar account is let's say burlington textile corp of america and i'm going to email shubham bhardwaj srd at the red gmail.com like for testing right and i'm going to click on save as soon as i save this record and i fulfilled both the conditions like i added the account and i added the email so let me check whether i received an email or not so let me check the spam as well so you can see i received an email like hi ramesh welcome to salesforce geek and you can see our subject is also dynamic now you can see our email body as well right like it is working like the body is also uh, adding the merge fields appropriately now there is one more thing right now in the activity you will not see any uh, email like we send an email to this contact or not so that's where log email concept came if you want to log the same email in salesforce like okay we already sent it this uh, email to this particular contact what you need to do you just need to type true and click on save as new version hit save and let's click activate now what i'm going to do i'm going to create another contact let's say arjun bizlani account let's say again burlington textile corp of america email i'm going to keep it same right and let me click on hit save so as soon as this contact gets created let's see the email again whether we received an email or not so yeah we again received the email in spam so here you can see hi arjun welcome to salesforce geek and here is the body now the part that i want to show you you can also see the email also get logged over activity panel so let me click on it so you can see the details here like hello arjun we are excited to welcome you to the salesforce geek family so i hope this is good uh, to understand if you have any doubt make sure to add into the comment so that's how we can send email uh, using an email template and also how we can log email i already showed you if you have any doubt any concern do let me know into the comment box and i will be happy to reply over there thank you so much